Right, hello again. Uh, it comes up all the time how to create a modular character, so I'm just going to do it using the mannequin. It won't take long. First thing I want to do really is I want to turn on the Python plugin. This one. And these two here. I'm going to export the mannequin. I'm going to select rig. Don't know why I should select that. And then we're just going to import it. If you go to import FBX, you can do what I've done. You put a shortcut in and then you can assign that shortcut to a hotkey. So all you do is you click on your change shortcuts and then assign it to whatever. I'm going to hide the uh, skeleton because we don't need it at the moment. I'm going to move this down to mesh. And then I'm going to just cut it up by loose parts for the moment. And then I'm going to start making it just into the parts that you would want it to be in your character. So you don't need to copy me on this. I mean, you might just want to do arms or something. I'm just going to cut it up into a lot of parts just to show you that it really doesn't matter. So you can see all I'm doing is systematically joining it back together. I'm just hiding them as a go so that if you miss any parts you see the way you missed it. Right, you would probably want to name all of your parts. I'm not going to bother because obviously I'm not going to be using this guy just for demonstration purposes. You would also need to um, install the plugin from Unreal. I will leave a link. Um, another thing I would suggest you do is if you go to System in the Preferences, change the Undo step to 256. Then if you go to either Add-ons, Pipeline, and then we can look at the actual plugin you've got export and import settings if you go on import and you launch the fbx it'll launch the fbx for each part that it sends to unreal so you can change the skeleton as it's important or you can leave it unchecked and delete all the skeletons when it's once it's in i prefer to do it this way in time to you also you're going to want to go to the unit system and change the scale to 0.01 
and while you run, you probably want to uh, change the um, focal length the end and the clip start like I have because I believe it goes to 10 ish, it's all the way in here. I like the 500, set it to whatever you want. Once you've got all that set up, just go to pipeline, export, send on rail, and then it's going to send each one and you're just going to import them straight under the actual skeleton. Once it's finished importing all of your parts, just go to your third person carry them well whatever your blueprint is you would go to wouldn't necessarily be the third person sorry I'm on a different screen right then so I'm just going to add a master post for a moment You would want to name them all. I'm not going to bother because I'm not going to be using this caliper, obviously. And you're going to repeat this process for every item. So I'm going to pull it on a different screen to do because it's going to be far faster. All you need is to see me pull in every part. Okay, then with all of that done, you'll have something that looks like this. So this is all of your body parts. You go down on me and save these body parts. I think. use body parts and then with the body parts on a different screen and now with the body parts it'll look like it's just one character as it should do well it was it is independent if I have take off some of the these handle steer because it just runs off the animation that's on the main part and that's how you can cut up a character to turn him into a modular character see you next time